You know, you made nine to five fans. You made everybody extremely happy uh, last month when you reunited with Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda at the Emmys. But did you know what they were going to say? And was that uh, a dialogue that the three of you had where you said, "Okay, you say what you want, but I'm going to do my thing? Well, I just told them, and they know me, I said, you know, I don't go political. Yeah. I don't do that. And so uh, it's not my place to tell them what to say or what not to say. I just knew whatever they said, I'd be saying whatever I said. But anyway, when it turned into, you know, where everybody had their, you know, their things to say, I just didn't want to get into it. And a lot of people were mad at me because I didn't say something you know, to defend the president or whatever. But I just don't, to me, I'm an entertainer. And yeah. I just I just know that that's not the thing for me because no matter what your thoughts and what your political views are, I always just make a joke that I'm neither Republican or Democrat. I'm a hypocrite. Right. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I, I don't want to get it. I saw what happened to the Dixie Chicks many years ago, one of the greatest groups ever. Yeah. It's okay to say what you think, but you got to suffer the consequences. And that's I just right. know... You know, if I say one thing, I'm going to, you know, piss off half the, you know, yep. another half the people. So I just always, I just never got into to that. That's not the thing for me. But, uh, you know, and it's like you're, you're danged if you do and danged yep. if you don't, just like that. I, I got punished for something I didn't say. Yeah, there you go. <laughs>